no one is more anointed. It is um, the same anointing to which we all have been called. Yes, that consecration of the Holy Spirit is the same uh, that is at work in each one of us. So, um, because I've seen a lot of errors where people say, oh, this person is more anointed, or that is very anointed, um, you know. Uh, what we are seeing is the different manifestations of the Spirit. So, um, because we have wrongly defined what anointing is, you know, some people say anointing is the, uh, the active power of God, uh, that when you become born again, you receive the Holy Spirit. But um, when you are anointed, when you have the anointing on you, so we, you see people, the way they describe the anointing is like in that, like the power, you know. So that's why sometimes when we pray, we say, oh, Lord, um, I know this service, anoint me afresh, you know. Uh, but if we read through scriptures, we realize that uh, no one is more anointed than others. So uh, let's read together the Bible, right? Romans 12, verse 4 to 7. Romans 12, 4 to 7. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we do many from one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is encouraged, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. So, let me add 1 Corinthians 12, 7. Say, now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. Now, from this scripture, we are able to establish that in Christ, we are all members of the same body and we play different roles. So, each of us has different gifts. That is the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. The Greek word there is charisma the manifestation, the performance of the Holy Spirit. So the extent to which we are able to demonstrate this gift, the Bible gave us the, the, the foundation there. He said that if you are prophesying, use it according to your measure of faith. If you are serving, serve according to your measure of faith. If you are teaching, to your measure of faith. If you are encouraging, to your measure of faith. So what determines how far we can go is our faith. It's not the anointing. What determines are because we have been anointed. Everyone is already anointed. So the extent to which we demonstrate this gift is in accordance with our faith. Why? Because we are all anointed. The Holy Spirit lives inside every believer. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 said, Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? So everyone is anointed. And that is why there is no special anointing anywhere. I've seen people say things like, oh, um, there is the healing anointing, there is the teaching anointing. Uh, it is the same spirit. Glory to God. It is the same spirit. Now, now let's look at 1 Corinthians um, 12, 4 to 11. Let's look at 1 Corinthians 12 to 11. So you, you will appreciate better what the Bible says, right? So 1 Corinthians 12, 4 to 11 says, there are different kinds of gifts, but the same spirit distributes them. Who is the distributor? The spirit. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in everyone, it is the same God at work. Now, to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one, there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom. To another, a message of knowledge by means of the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gift of healing by that one Spirit. To another, miraculous powers. To another, prophecy. To another, distinguishing between spirits. To another, speaking in different kinds of tongues. And to still another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are the work of one and the same Spirit, and it distributes them to each one just as He determines. Glory to God. Just as He determines. So you realize that there are different kinds of gifts, 
but it is the same spirit. So if someone says there are different kinds of anointing, that tells you that the person is not referring to the spirit. The person is not referring to the Holy Spirit because it is one and the same spirit that works in each believer just as he determines just as he determines. So what makes the difference in the manifestation is how much faith we are able to muster. So what we need to keep looking at is our faith, is our faith. So how can we, uh, is it possible to influence the manifestation of the spirit? Yes, yes. So if we read again verse six, and he said, uh, Romans 12, he said, if we have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us, if your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. In, with your faith. So we, we all deploy the gift in accordance with the measure of faith. So, uh, uh, so if you look at it, nowhere did anyone pray in the Bible to be anointed. Nowhere. No way or for, for the anointing to manifest or oh, let your anointing manifest in this place. No way. So um, they simply pray to do the Lord's will. We all deploy the gifts in accordance with our measure of faith, right? So it is crucial to mention that the gifts are not different kinds of anointing. The gifts are not different kinds of anointing. When we come to Christ and, and, um, and uh, like, like uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17 says uh, um, that um, he that is in Christ is a new creature. All things have passed away. So when we come to him, um, there is an exchange that happens and we become baptized into him. That reception into him, then uh, um, uh, so with that we can now receive the Holy Spirit as a confirmation of what has happened in our heart, as a confirmation of the change of heart. So it is crucial to, to remember that, um, that they are not, the gift of the Spirit are not different kinds of anointing. It is God that determines who manifests what. That is why they are called gifts. Yes, can we desire them? Yes. Can we pray for us to manifest them? Yes, it is allowed. But it is God who determines which one to manifest. 